Express open. Pretty cool, right? Over the last 24 hours, here's what we've gotten so far. Central Montana already seeing uh, the 8 to 12 inches of snowfall on the ground there. So it really is the northern Rockies here, the Wasatch Front already getting their dose and we'll continue with the winter weather alerts. Across nine states, we do have some winter warnings up for the areas in purple. These do include the highest elevations. This is where the air is coldest and so we can easily produce snow here. Once you get down to the valleys, places like Denver, you're seeing rain today. So it's not the snow. It's only the higher elevations up to above 7,000 feet is where we get the chance to get the accumulating snow that's significant. This does continue through Tuesday. Uh, we'll have some lingering wraparound showers, but the main dose comes for places like uh, the, the western slopes of Colorado uh, right through the afternoon today and into early tomorrow morning. Then we'll start to see the snow ease. It does spread out onto the plains, but notice how the temperatures are warmer. Places like Cheyenne 53. That could be a cloudy day. Meanwhile, Salt Lake City getting the rain snow mix. Wouldn't be surprised to see a few flurries fly along the bench there just north of the city. And the snow uh, does look pretty impressive right now on the radar. Don't see any reason why we can't stack up some good totals here, Craig, with this first opportunity to pack down <laughs> some powder of the season. I can hear people. 12 inches of snow. A little bit of this could creep into the foothills of Boulder, but Denver is just plain rain for you. Definitely some cooler temperatures coming in with this, but all in all, we're watching this first snowfall of the season, so winter storm warnings are up for the highest elevations, and you can expect those accumulations to continue through tonight into early tomorrow. Craig, big news for, for uh, ski resorts, because last season we were waiting so long for the first snowfalls of the season to come in. I think it was like November, and everybody was scrambling and hoping that they could open on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> yeah, whole different story. Hope that helps mm -hmm. out with the start this year yep. as well. Uh, I, I love it when it starts to really come down because people get so excited as well. You can also feel the feel air for football. We have That's lots right. of games starting today, 1 o'clock in the 1 o'clock hour, Baltimore, Atlanta. A couple of games could see some rain. One would be Baltimore uh, and Cleveland as well, rather than Cincinnati and Atlanta. Uh, Washington could get some rain today. Green Bay visiting 66 mm. for those games. So that could be pretty interesting with what they do with the ball and how they advance it as well. Sunshine for Tennessee, uh, Carolina, and Jacksonville. Two big games, and I know, Amy, you've got a big one when you're looking at the 4 o'clock hour. You're talking more about your Kansas City Chiefs.